What's up tech degenerates? And this is the long term review of Dot .OS on the Redmi Note 10 Pro, whether or not I encountered any bugs. If you guys wanna see a video outlining all of the features that you can expect with Dot .OS, I'll have that video linked up here. But I've been using Dot .OS now for a little over two weeks, cause a little over a week, because it's really that good. Uh, RAM management is pretty good. Now, if you guys wanna go ahead and supercharge your Redmi Note 10 Pro, I'm currently running .OS on my tablet, but I have installed the OnePlus uh, launcher. And what OnePlus launcher allows you to do is pin open apps so you can clear all apps. And then it's gonna keep these applications open. This is a Snapdragon 660 device, four gigabytes of RAM. And with .OS, it absolutely flies. I haven't done it on my Redmi Note 10 Pro yet simply because I have not been able to get it to flash through, uh, or, uh, through Orange Fox. If you guys are running TWRP, maybe you can flash .OS, but I just wanted to follow up uh, on the original first impressions video linked up here. And by the way, guys, all of those videos currently earning money for India. If you wanna go check those videos out, share them. It just goes to raising more money. But the launcher that we have uh, and the, the, recent, um, uh, the recent applications, just like stock Android, uh, RAM management is not as good as it is, I think on MIUI in regards to keeping stuff open so that you can, uh, when, when you, so that you can go back and forth in between apps quickly. But with how good the RAM management is on .OS, really no reason not to. If you guys are curious about whether or not it supports 120 hertz, it does support 120 hertz. It does support fast charging as I linked in my initial impressions video. Uh, battery life at 120 hertz. I got indoor usage on Wi-Fi most of the time, medium to low brightness, eight and a half hours. With 60 hertz outdoors, real world, like real world, like real world, you can expect about nine hours screen on time at 60 hertz, medium brightness, uh, 120 hertz, make that a little bit closer to like seven and a half hours real world screen on time, just because the screen is a battery hog. And that's gonna wrap up this long-term review, bug report, et cetera, on the .OS ROM. If you guys want me to review a different one, I'm thinking about either Aero OS or the stock MIUI 12.5 ROM uh, that has been leaked for the beta testers.